Hi friends, Alison here. Welcome back to my channel. I am dropping in again today to share with you one last May I Scrap Lift You scrapbook layout. This layout is actually a mixture of two scrapbook layouts that I scrap lifted. One was done by Alison Davis and that is the layout with the lemons on it. And the other one is by my friend Scrappy Carrie over on Instagram. And it is a rendition of a layout she made for Ella Benella scrapbooking kits. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you stick around and follow along with me. I really enjoyed the idea of creating a pie chart but only half of a pie chart. <laughs> and so I cut a half circle using my Cricut and then decided to fill it in with my own triangles. It took quite a while to figure it out. I used a pencil to mark out the lines on the half circle um, where I wanted the pattern papers to go and then I matched it up with the half circle and then cut the papers out I did a really bad job of explaining that and maybe one day in the future I will actually actually take you through the process of how I made this if I ever do it again. Um, but this was just the abridged version, we'll say. <laughs> I used a mixture of pattern papers from literally all over the place. I have some uh, Coco Vanilla Daydream pattern paper in there. I have some Ali Edwards pattern paper from her new scrapbooking kit. I also have some close to my heart pattern paper in there and then the last pattern paper and this is all just in that half circle. I can't remember where it comes from. I'll have to look again and get back to you on that. It came actually from a 6x6 six six paper pad that I've had in my stash for eons. Um, so I will get back to you on that. I decided to embellish my layout with florals. I cut the florals with my Cricut um, as well and I used a mixture of cardstock to create these florals. So I have some orange in there, there's some white, there is pink, and there is some yellow as well. I tried using all the same colors that are found in the background in the flowers as well uh, just to keep the color the colors um, cohesive my background is a really light gray i cut that overlay in the background uh, with my cricut as well and i'm also using textured cardstock in the background as the base for my layout as well i'm using some embellishments from pretty little studio and also from jen hadfield these are products that I got from a uh, previous Paper Issues scrapbooking kit. And I'm finally making some good use of them. I found these gold foil florals, not florals, leaves in the Jen Hadfield um, embellishment pack. I don't know what collection it's from. I'm going to have to double check that as well and leave it in the description box down below. So if you're curious to know where it's from and you want it for yourself, you'll know where to look. There were also these um, paper ephemera floral bits in this paper issues kit as well. And I could not tell you for the life of me where they are from but I used them up anyways. They were just floating loose in the scrapbooking kit that I had gotten from Paper Issues and decided to use them up. The colors worked flawlessly with my color scheme in this layout, so it was like it was meant to be. I also, as you know, love my phrase stickers, so I pulled out my newest Coco Vanilla collection, which is Sunkissed. And I put just one of the stickers in the top left hand of my picture. I printed the picture at home using my Epson printer. And I printed it at 2 by 3 inches. And then I matted it to some white cardstock. So the mat behind it is barely larger than the 2 by 3 that the photo is. 
Last but not least, I am adding some journaling. I'm just using some foam squares to pop them up just so that they stand above the stitching that is in the background. I also forgot to mention that I pulled out some gold foil paper that I've had in my stash for quite a while. It's from close to my heart because the gold foil accents that were in the embellishments from the Jen Hadfield embellishment pack that I used just a moment ago really inspired me to pull in some more gold accents into this layout. So I cut some leaves from the gold foil paper from close to my heart that will be linked in the description box down below so you can check that out as well. And then um, I just glued them to the layout with some, I think I used my Tombow Mono to glue them. I can't remember. I could have used my tape runner as well. I'm not sure. Here are the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I hope this layout inspired you. I want to send a big shout out to Allison Davis and of course, Carrie for inspiring this layout. I'll be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, friends, and I will be here before you know it. Bye guys.